Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Going to do a quick comparison video today with the Smith & Wesson Shield and the Glock 43. A lot of excitement over the Glock 43. It's newly released. People wanted a single stack 9mm for quite a while. The Shield had equal excitement when it was released a couple years ago. And they obviously beat Glock to the punch with a small subcompact carry version of a 9mm single stack. But we keep hearing that single stack. So let's take a look at the magazines here. And we can see that they are actually staggered. We have the Glock here holds six rounds. And this one with the shield holds eight rounds. And the one in the gun right now, the shield holds seven and Glock holds six. So both the Glock magazines hold six. Here we have eight rounds and seven rounds. So when we look at the capacity, we're looking at an advantage shield. But I did bring out a true single stack magazine, which is from a car CT9. We can see the difference with both of these. So are these true single stacks no they're staggered stacks does that make a difference not at all but it is worth pointing out let's take a look at the cost shields right around four hundred dollars but it's been around a little while when this first came out it was very expensive much of what we're seeing with the glock i paid 480 for the glock 43 and a while back i paid four and a quarter for the shield now this is dropped in price we have to believe that on the used market over time this will drop in price as well glock has very unflexible prices on the new market so as it sits right now we're going to say advantage shield on the cost let's take a look at the size from this profile here it does look like the glock has a little bit of a smaller size advantage we'll see more when we get them on the scale but they do match up very very well both these guns have been safety checked and are unloaded here we have the sights standard glock sights as well as the shield with three dot sights and we line up the slides and it's all it's just about identical and from this side from this shot here you can see that the shield does have an adjustable front sight is where the glock is fixed and then we look at the grip similar similar width of the grip and similar length so they do match up extremely well i do own both of these guns they are mine i don't hold any bias one way or another obviously i've owned a shield longer have a little bit more experience but i bought the glock 43 because i think it's a quality gun and want to definitely check it out so let's do some shooting spots then we'll talk more about them Let's take a look at some of the features and we'll start with the Glock 43. This is actually a thin gun. And we've heard in the past that people say Glock is block, Glocks are thick. Glock is like holding a 2x4. And, I, and I've said those things in the past too. It does not apply with this gun. It is thin and it, it does carry very well. We look at the grip, not very aggressive texturing, makes it nice for, for carry, rubbing up on the skin, so forth. Uh, I do like what Glock did with the extended magazine base plate, get a full three fingers on there. And I do like how Glock changed the magazine release button with the Gen 4 models and this here. It's placed in a way that you do not have to change your grip angle. And the magazine drops freely, which is unlike some of the other models. Already saw the sights there, pretty standard Glock serrations straight up and down, beveled into the slide. We look at the trigger, no great surprise here. We're looking at five and a half pounds, and upon the reset, we can see it is very short. Makes it nice for follow-up shots. Let's take a look at the shield. Here we have an ergonomical grip as well, and not very much texturing either and the magazine drop is just as good and nice deployment as well we can see the magazine is metal here we have polymer coated metal no big difference one way or the other this model does have a thumb safety and, and obviously other models do not 
I find it unobtrusive, no big deal. Fish scale like serrations. And does have a loaded chamber indicator right there, a sight hole right above between the barrel and the slide. Uh, three dot sights. And I really like this shield trigger. It is pretty crisp. And the reset is just as short as the Glock. Follow up shots, double taps, all that. Very Field nice. stripping. Each of these guns are very simple. They do not require any tools. Here we have the shield. It's as simple as locking the slide back, hitting the lever down on the frame, releasing the slide, pulling the trigger, and the slide pulls right off, disassembles very simply. The Glock is just as easy, if not easier. You just need to pull the slide back a little bit with your hand. Hit these takedown levers, drop those just a little bit, pull the trigger, slide comes right off, and the gun is essentially field stripped. We look at the recoil string springs. Both are, are dual recoil springs, both very well made. If we look at the barrel, we can see that the barrel on the shield is thicker than the barrel on the Glock. Is that going to make a difference for longevity? One would think so, but it also adds... If maybe an ounce or two on the weight of the shield. Both of these guns have six rounds in the magazine and not a round in the chamber. Here we have the Glock 43 weighing in at 20 and 3 eighths ounces. And here we have the shield with six rounds once again weighing in at an even 23 ounces. So a little over two ounces heavier on the shield. If weight is your thing, advantage Glock 43. If I had to choose one of these guns, you know, I look at the Glock, I see a, a proven reliable company, reliable gun, has a lot going for it, but then the shield does as well. It has a little bit more in the magazine capacity and is equally as reliable in my opinion. So is the additional money for the 43 worth it over the shield? In my opinion, no it's not. If I had to choose one, I'm taking the shield. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.